I'm Kathy Newfont, Department of History, and I was part of the faculty learning community that focused on community online. And one of the things that we wanted to do was walk other people through a resource that we developed uh, to help people think about community online. So this is my faculty learning community that was focused on strategies for creating community online. And if you'll notice, we actually practice what we preached. This was an in-person gathering of our faculty learning community with two people coming in from online. Uh, and we thought all semester about, um, all year, about how to create community online and we gathered resources that we developed into a Canvas shell that we've published to the Commons to make it available to everyone. So I'm going to walk you through the Canvas shell. We organized the shell using the modules familiar to everyone who's uh, worked with Canvas before. We thought that was the most intuitive way to organize uh, the shell. And we divided it into four sections, um, uh, long-term group projects, short-term group projects, and unit-long projects, and then a uh, fourth section on additional resources. And I'm going to introduce you to it. Elizabeth, a little bit later, is going to take you through a little bit more. We're the two deputized by the FLC to introduce you here. Uh, the modules include sample assignments and other resources. Um, so you can see here, under long-term projects, I circled an example of a group work project that goes all uh, term and a Jenga project, uh, also one that can be used over the course of an entire course. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the thinking study group section uh, under the unit long projects, which is one example. Uh, this is one that I brought to the table and I found it useful uh, to get the feedback from my colleagues, so I want to talk to you about that. I've used thinking study groups in large classes, face-to-face -face classes, 120 students and that kind of thing, um, such as uh, App 200, which I've been teaching the last couple of years, um, Introduction to Appalachian Studies. What I like about the thinking study groups model is that it has students face-to-face -face, uh, talking about ideas outside the classroom. The ideas we've been discussing in the classroom, they then are meeting face-to-face -face and discussing later. I thought this model might be adaptable to online courses, but I'd never used it in anything but the face-to-face -face setting. And so I put my uh, materials, the, the explanation about the model, a sample assignment, and a form that came back in, and then I asked for feedback, and my colleagues in the FLC gave me very useful feedback. So Jennifer saw it as easily adaptable to online courses using Canvas features, and Jessalyn suggested that Zoom would be a way of using it in an online setting. So the next stop for me is to go to Zoom tutorials, which we have in our Canvas shell under additional resources. I have not used Zoom in the past, so I need to go there and figure that out. Uh, to find the Community Online Shell, you can click on the Commons. Again, this is familiar. Um, da below dashboarding courses and calendar and so on, there's the Commons. Uh, from your main Canvas menu, once you get there, you can search University of Kentucky Community Online. And uh, our course shell should come up at that point once you've done that search. Uh, just published it to the University of Kentucky. Our FLC has to decide whether we want to go beyond that or not. Uh, we hope the resource helps our colleagues develop online community, and uh, that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank my FLC for their thoughtful engagement all semester long, and also uh, particularly Nicole and Ashley and Troy who helped facilitate our online uh, community, and CELT, the Provost Office, and IT for making this possible. I've really learned a lot and have uh, didn't talk a whole lot about my own stuff. But uh, I had fewer than 20 slides, so I have this moment to say that I have been experimenting <laughs> and have been experimenting and using some of the tools that I've learned. Uh, it's broken down a little bit of my immigrants, immigrant to technology generation uh, barriers to implementing some of these technologies. So I thank you for that opportunity. And I'm out.